Hello, this is Mark from Garris Guitars, and this is an episode of Tube Talk. I'm not gonna lie, it's the coldest weekend of the year, 2002, of, of the winter season, uh, in New England, and I'm in San Diego. Uh, usually I do these with a tube in my hand and kind of point at it, this is a tube, but I'm on a rooftop lounge in San Diego. Um, the sun is really shining hard on me, wearing short sleeves. It's just, uh, there's no justice in this world for anyone who isn't me right now. So, uh, I just wanted to get that up front. But let's talk about tubes, because I'm catching up on some stuff here. It's a working vacation. And uh, I wanted to make a tube video about the rectifier tube. Um, uh, I was explaining rectifier tubes to someone, I thought, hmm, this would be a good video. So, let's get into it. Uh, what is a rectifier tube? Well, you understand that, um, as you understand probably, the, the tubes in your amplifier uh, make your signal louder. So you put in a high impedance, very low signal, and you get out a very low impedance, very powerful signal. But the rectifier tube has a unique place. Um, it, uh, and not all amps have a tube rectifier, so let's, let's, uh, let's get into that too. So the rectifier has a unique place because it, uh, the audio signal never crosses through the, re the rectifier. The rectifier's job is to turn AC voltage into DC voltage. So AC voltage is great for transmitting power through cities and across you know, long distances, but is useless to electronics. So whenever you plug something into the wall, there is a transformation of your AC to DC, whether it's your cell phone or whether it's your guitar amp. AC voltage is useless to, um, to electric circuits. So, um, there's two ways to do this. You can do it with a rectifier bridge, uh, a series of diodes that kind of spin the voltage around in a circle until it forgets its AC, or the rectifier tube, which kind of takes the voltage in, uh, takes the the pulse out of it. So AC voltage travels because there's a uh, there is a frequency to it. It pulses and it pushes itself. It pushes the electrons down the line. But in the case of the um, in DC voltage, it's just a, it's a more direct direct current <laughs> DC. So um, an AC is alternating current. Um, just in case you were wondering. So what's the end result? What do these uh, two different rectifier circuits do? Well, the people who claim that you must have a tube rectifier, which is 50% of the time it's me, and 50% of the time I'm the person who claims you don't need a tube rectifier, because it depends on the amplifier and the sound that you're going for. So I was recently talking about the Princeton amplifier that does have a tube rectifier, and the tube rectifier is responsible for a tonal uniqueness of the amplifier. So, what does it do? I guess um, you can describe its attribute as being spongy. Uh, people like to say it creates uh, more compression in the power stage. Um, one reason is it's doing a lot. And um, so, like, so the, the voltage goes to the tube rectifier and then the, 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 um, the amperage uh, of the voltage gets sucked in the um, power tube stage. And as it does that, there'll be a sag here, which creates you know, so this is kind of a sag and flow of, of uh, voltage um, because these uh, these tubes share. You know, these tubes are in the same circuit, so there's a there's kind of a um, a pumping that happens of voltage. Very subtle we're talking about, but enough to make tube rectifier amps have a unique sound. Now, what about solid state rectifiers? Are they bad? I'd say no because. Um, a lot of my favorite amps have them. Uh, they, uh, my, my home stereo, I, I switched from a tube rectifier to a solid state rectifier for that reason. I want to really hear what it sounds like. I want it smooth. I don't want extra compression. Uh, the record is already compressed in the case of my home stereo. Or your, your guitar is compressed by your output, your preamp tubes like crazy in your output tubes and uh, you probably have pedals that create compression. Maybe you don't want additional compression in your amp's tone. Maybe you want that loud, clear. The best example is the Fender Twin. Um, the, the, the twin sound that, that, that's uh, most famous, you know, kind of the silver face twin or the later black face twin. Um, 
just uh, brutally honest. So, that's what the uh, solid state rectifier does. So is one better than the other? No. But, I can highly recommend, um, a lot of my favorite amps have the tube rectifier. The, um, especially amps with 6v6s with a tube rectifier really seem to have a unique sound that, um, that is uh, reliant on that aspect of the circuit. So, spun around a little bit here. Is it good or bad? No. Um, well, yes, it's good. Is it bad to not have one? No, it's, it's all right, too. Uh, do you need it? You need it in some circuits to, to create unique sounds. Um, I recommend you have an amp with a tube rectifier. Um, but uh, great amps can also have solid state rectifiers. And uh, also, let's talk about the longevity of the tube rectifier. The, uh, luckily, of all the tubes in your amp, the tube rectifier does its job until it stops doing it. It doesn't have that kind of slow decline that, that a lot of the uh, audio stage uh, tubes will have. So generally speaking, if it works, it works. And do different, can you substitute your tube rectifier? Yes. Do different tube rectifiers have different effects? Yes. Um, so um, that is, uh, that, that throws a little trick in the mix, but um, generally speaking, stick with the rectifier you've got probably does a good job. Um, if you change a tube rectifier, it will have a very minimal effect on the uh, on anything, if anything. So uh, when you go to change your tubes, the rectifier can stay. Uh, great rectifiers are still cheap. So if you see them out and, you know, with the RCA, you know, those great vintage rectifiers for some reason still aren't expensive. So scoop a few up if you have a rectifier-based amp. Um, and uh, I'm gonna get back to the hard work here and uh, we'll talk 